hey guys welcome to my channel so for this piece i'm participating in the storybook september so the prompt for today was mary poppins so this is mary poppins in my style because i've never seen her done in a cartoony style ish <laughs> so yeah so um i had fun with this one i hadn't i think this is my first time doing such saturated colors and i really loved it so yeah i try to saturate the colors as much as i can and for the flowers i used acrylic paint i just wanted them to just wanted to get them done with as soon as possible so i did them first and i was using phthalo blue mixed with a little bit of black for the background and i'll go over it again with the same with the same color but darker yeah so for the skin i'm just using red and yellow and just adding water just to make it less orange and less opaque because these paints are really saturated they are really opaque so yeah And for my pieces, I, I tend to leave the highlight on the nose and part of the cheeks completely white. It depends on the skin tone. I like to leave it lighter than the rest of the skin. So for this skin tone, I'm going to leave it completely white. I just, I just feel like it works for my style. And if it was a darker skin tone, I would have covered the whole face with a base layer. And for the second layer, I would have left the highlight I would have left the bridge of the nose and parts of the cheeks with just the base layer just so it looks even lighter than the rest of the face I just like doing that I don't know why I feel like it works for my art style so yeah and I think this storybook September month is one of the challenges that I've enjoyed the most on Instagram because I just love storybooks as a kid i loved reading as a kid i loved being read to as a kid so paint doing this challenge just made me embrace my inner childhood <laughs> my inner self my inner childhood self so yeah and for this piece i really loved the colors i loved everything about it i didn't do any prom any color comps or thumbnails for this i just went ahead and did it and it just i feel like it just worked out and it's those once in a while moments that it actually works out without having to prepare as much as I normally would so yeah and for the brown in the band of the hat I just mixed a green and added red to it and it was brown so if you want to mix brown that's how just the three primary colors just mix yellow and blue green and add red to it just gradually adding red or blue and eventually it'll make brown and I use the same brown for the hair and just darken it later on and for the dress it's just a deep red mixed with just a little bit of water just to make it just a little bit of water just not to make just to make it less opaque than it was but I'll go over it again later after I add some details. And I love this red. It makes it basically mixes everything. You can make purple, you make vibrant pinks with it, you can make purples, you can make burgundies, you can make any color. I love this red. It's one of my favorites. And I use same red for the lips later on So when it comes to the lips, I just added more water to the same red mixture just to make it look pink and it did just adding, which is why I love this paint, just adding a little bit of water makes it look pink and if I add white it makes it even more 
pastel pink so I love it and I think it looked really cute on her skin and I'll go over it again with a red just to make it just to intensify that color and I use the same pink the same red for the lips on the nose and the cheeks and it, I don't like harsh edges so I use a wet damp a clean damp brush just to soften them I hate I really hate harsh edges on my in my art style it just makes everything look blotchy so the paint in the face wasn't as dry as I'd like it to be because I was afraid it would lift because it wasn't as dry so I left gave it, I gave it 10 more minutes just to completely dry so I went on to the hair first and it's the same brown as the headband in the hat and I'll darken it later And for this color in the hat, it's just phthalo blue mixed with black. The same as the background, just with more black added to it. Just, But it still has, it looks black, but it still has a blue undertone. Especially if you see it in real life. So that's what I did for the hat. And I keep switching the book just because I don't want to mess up the lines. I don't want to color outside of the lines. So I keep turning it around to the best angle that I can get it to. So I don't so that I don't go outside the lines. And for the top of the hat, I just used the same sort of black and blue mixture but added more blue to it because I wanted it to be a different color from the rest of the hat because it's the top for some reason but it worked out we just added more blue to the black mixture and it looked different than the rest of the hat so this blue is really pigmented and just a little goes a long way And so now it's 10 minutes after I, I left it for like 10 minutes and came back and it's completely dry so I'm going in with the blush for the cheeks and here you can see I'm just using the same red and using a clean damp brush to soften the edges now because just to make it just to make them really soft and I'm going over the ears just to make them look just to give them more life And I'm gonna do the eyelids as well, and I really and I like to leave a little highlight in the center of the top eyelid. I just I don't know. I just I think it's, I just like it for my style. So yeah, I'm just going under the eyes just to have them pop more once I paint the eye. Just once I paint the pupil in. So here I'm just going with the same red mixture, just leaving highlight in the center and I just added a little bit just a little bit of blue to the same red mixture to, just to make it a little bit more purple and to do that just to paint that shadow on top of the eyes it's not very intense but a little goes a long way I think And I don't normally paint the irises in the, 
in the center of the pupil. I don't know why, I just, they never look good when I paint them, so I always leave them out, but I, I surprisingly like it. I surprisingly like them without the irises. So I'm gonna keep doing that till I learn to make them look good in my pieces, so yeah. And here I'm just adding more red just to deepen, just to make them more saturated. Just to make all the red parts more saturated and different from the rest of the paste. So here I'm just going over with the more saturated red for the lips. Just to make them pop out a little bit more. And I'm just adding a little bit of blue to the mixture just to make it purple for the shadows underneath the nose and underneath the lips. do those little bags under the eyes not really bags I don't know what what I should call them or what I would call them but I like to put them in and I painted them really lightly here in this piece and I feel like they looked I feel like they worked out so I got the same brown I painted for the hair previously and just added more blue and more red and more yellow basically and less water just and it looked more saturated, just made it a more darker brown, just to add more details to the hair. Just so it doesn't look like one big blob. <laughs> and hair is not my forte <laughs> or my favorite part of painting, because I don't know, hair is just really hard for me. But I try to do my best, and I try to do my best in this piece. Plus the fact that I wasn't using a reference. And I feel like it looked, turned out okay. Because it's my first time painting hair without a reference. And I hate painting hair. If it's the basic hair, like a bob, yeah, I can do that. I Because <laughs> it's just so easy and the hair is just straight. But if it's wavy hair or curly hair and it has to go in all sorts of directions, I just, it messes with my head. <laughs> And here I'm just going over the band again with the same color as the hair, just to make it darker and blend in with the rest of the hat more. And I use the same color for the eyebrow as well. I wanted the hat to be a sort of like theft hat because I feel like that's cause I think that that's the hat that she had in the old movie so I just got the dark blue that I used for the top of the hat and just made crisscross lines just to make it look like just to make it look like a saw hat ish I don't know what you call those hats <laughs> I don't know I've never owned one but and I wasn't using a reference but I think it I think it looked sort of like a thatched hat. And I did the rest of the hat, but I didn't do the top because it would have showed up anyway. So I left that alone. I really liked how the hat turned out in this piece. I really liked it. It looked really good in my opinion and for the for my first time during a hat, I feel like it looked good because <laughs> I don't draw hats and I did it here. So kudos to me. And here I just used a darker mixture and I'm going to go over the background again just to make it darker. Oh, first I'm going to go over the the top again the dress the, to the top of the dress I don't know if it's a top or a dress 
but just gonna going over the shadows with a purple and I'm going to go over that purple with a more saturated red just going to go over the whole piece with a more saturated red because I felt like it just looked too too flat with <laughs> just one it's just one wash so I'm going to go over it with another wash of red So here I'm painting background I just the same color just more blue and a little bit of black to it just to make it more saturated and more because I wanted it darker than how it was in the beginning and I really liked how it turned out I really liked how it made how it drew the face how it drew the eyes to the to the face when you look at the piece And the fact that I did the flowers in acrylic paint, it just, it saved me lots of time painting this one, painting the rest of the piece. Because I didn't have to shade them or anything, just went in with that one layer of acrylic paint and it just all worked out <laughs> and I was done. And I'm just going to go over the dress one last time with a um, more saturated red. I want it to be black. I wanted it to be blood red. <laughs> I wanted it to be the red of the flowers just to make the whole piece look cohesive. Cohesive ish because the eyes are blue. I like the background. And the dress should be red. I like the flowers. Even though there's nothing else yellow. I like the yellow. <laughs> it relates to the skin more so I feel like the whole piece just sort of looks cohesive and for the line art I'm just gonna go in with the brown for the hair and the hat and the dress and that blue pen for the face because black just looks harsh so this is like my favorite part taking out the masking tape and seeing those straight lines <laughs> And I was really careful because sometimes it rips the paper, but for this piece it didn't and I'm so thankful for that. <laughs> and it just, once I was done, I just looked at the piece for like five minutes straight, just, <laughs> just loving it because I just really loved it and just admiring it. So, yeah. And I'm done, so... Here's the finished piece and if you guys like it, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at ChocoMoo.